स्टेशन मुंबई सी एस टी अगला स्टेशन मुंबई सी एस टी नेक्स्ट स्टेशन मुंबई सी एस टी This terminus was in the end of a journey. It wasn't the end point on a timeline either. It was where it all began. In 1853, the first rail journey in Asia started from Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, formerly known as Victoria Terminus or VT. CST is the administrative headquarters of the Central Railway. and a major terminal for suburban and long distance trains it's among the few unesco world heritage sites that are living and according to the mumbai rail vikas corporation the terminus is used by approximately 6.4 lakh people every day nearly 1500 suburban trains and 50 long distance trains start from here daily the station has a total of 18 platforms seven platforms for suburban trains and 11 platforms for long distance trains they stretch across 1200 feet while the main structure rises to a height of 330 feet but the story of cst isn't only the story of steel and stone It's also the story of almost 5000 people who come here to work every day. Some work in the Central Railways administrative offices. Others ensure the smooth functioning of the terminus and the trains. Still others are drawn to work here because the bustling station and its crowds offer ample opportunities to earn a livelihood. CST's chief controller who is in charge of the train management system room has a tough job. He and his team of section controllers work round the clock to control the movement of almost 2000 trains in Central Railways Mumbai division. They make sure that the trains run on time, there are no accidents and the passengers are safe. It's supposed to be a train of so here the section controller can speak to driver Or to guard directly. Every 1.9 minutes, there is one movement. One. Train. This screen provides the controllers with the real-time location of each train. The red lines stand for trains, while the green lines represent tracks. I require 330 people at one time to start one train. A world of people is needed to run the station, and it's been running for the past 130 years. Back in 1853, the erstwhile Victoria terminus was a modest station called Bori Bandar. From here started Asia's first railway line, built by a company called the Great Indian Peninsula Railway or GIPR. The railways connected the hinterland to the port and facilitated the speedy transport of goods and soldiers. There were a lot of memorandum from Manchester uh, Industries because even before American Civil War there was a cotton famine. in 1846 so they said we must have an alternate source apart from the source of cotton what they wanted to reduce the uh, transportation cost improve the quality and make the availability better so earlier the everything was being transported through bullock carts once you convert into uh, railways then the huge amount can be uh, transported in a jiffy victoria terminus was part of a plan made for bombay by governor henry edward bartle frere in 1862 Frere tore down the walls of the obsolete Fort St George and recommended the construction of 14 buildings. Victoria Terminus was one of these buildings. It was to not only represent power, therefore it was built at a decibel level in terms of scale, but it was also to impress the incoming troops. Bombay was the landing point as a port. They landed in the vicinity of what is now the Gateway of India. All the way from the Gateway of India 
through DN Road, you pass Elphinstone College, Army and Navy Building, Bombay University, you come to Flora Fountain, then you go down DN Road, which was very deliberately controlled. That's why they have arcades on either side, uh, largely Gothic, Neo-Gothic, Victorian buildings. And then you arrive at this plaza where you have two massive buildings. One is the Victoria Terminus and the other is the Bombay Municipal Corporation. And the, to the troops would ceremonially go down that route then get on a train. This was the true gateway to India because this is where anyone arriving, if their destination was in Mumbai and had to go anywhere in the country, went through the VT. Victoria Terminus was built as the offices and the terminal of the GIPR. Made in the high Victorian Gothic style and based on late medieval Italian models, VT was built near Boribanda station on land reclaimed from the sea. Its chief architect was Frederick William Stevens, one of Bombay's foremost neo-Gothic practitioners. Construction began in 1878 and lasted till 1888 and the building cost approximately 16 lakh rupees at that time. It is very unique because it modifies Gothic revival on a very grand scale and introduces the dome, which comes for the first time in Bombay's skyline. If you really see Gothic revival buildings prior to that, uh, let's start with Crawford Market, Secretariat, Rajabai Tower, Convocation Hall, High Court. All of these buildings were tall and emphasized on verticality using tower, turrets, spires. Not many domes are seen on Gothic revival buildings, so this is a unique example of its kind. You have the Lady of Progress on top of it, which ultimately is the crowning feature. So the choice of progress is, um, you know, incredibly appropriate in that um, the railways represented um, an intellectual and an engineering and a social progress um, in the 19th century um, that was remarkable and would be equivalent to this sort of social progress and inter interconnectedness that you get from the internet today. In 1877, Queen Victoria completed 50 years of rule and she became the Empress of India. To commemorate her golden jubilee, the station was renamed Victoria Terminus. VT was meant to symbolize the majesty of the British Empire, its vast trade networks and its technological triumph, the railways. There's a wonderful kind of symmetry to it and what was going on with Bombay as a city because Bombay wasn't the capital of India, Calcutta was at the time this was built, um, but it's almost like the mercantile capital and this is a sort of mercantile capital building. It's this great domed monument to the city like you would build as a cathedral in a great Italian town. So the railways and commercial trade in India were um, very important to the lifeblood of Bombay as a city and this building, the way it's designed and decorated and um, its size relates to that incredibly well. VT was built using a locally found buff stone called Malad stone white Porbandra stone and red Rangadra stone. Arcaded corridors on each floor let in the breeze but protected the inner wall of the building from the sun. You enter through a large gate watched over by the British lion and the Indian tiger. At the entrance, you see a port cochere where visitors would get off their carriages. Inside, you see the grand cantilevered staircase made of overhanging slabs of blue stone. As you climb up, you come closer and closer to the dome and its stained glass work. Wherever you look, you see ornamentation, gargoyles, fantastical creatures, and local species of flora and fauna.
Meeti Station building itself has lots of interesting facets. It has an underground basement, it has uh, it has the clock tower, it has interesting features with the common man won't know. Treasury is sort of a very mysterious uh, feature. This was the place where the cash from the entire uh, GIPR railways, they used to collect it and the cash was actually counted here. And then from here it used to be uh, dispatched to the banks. So this is one of the old cash boxes which comes down through this lift. And the people down below, they used to unload, unload it here. It was told that uh, more than 32 crores of cash was available in small denominations. It was happening quite recently, I think, uh, in the 70s, it was happening till 1970s. These were the 16 main communities of Bombay. They are on the around it, uh, on the main first round building. It was to have a more of a local connect because there were two main people who, who were Indians uh, as directors of the companies. So some Indian element had to be come, come on the building because they had funded the railway in a big way also. There are few elements which uh, can be said are very unique, like the peacock motif, which is very evidently seen on the first floor on two sides of the facades on either side. Of course, it had pointed arches, uh, which are OG shape arches, you know, uh, which again was a trend. But to pinpoint and say specifically it's Indian, that would be slightly a tall order. There was one British engineer or two maybe, and everyone from the Mistri to the Mukadam to the chief craftsman to everyone was Indian. There must be hundreds of families that have oral histories within their, you know, family histories that talk about how their great-great-grandfather was someone working there. For 35 years, P.K. Jadav has made sure that CST's main clock never stops. This is It's his rosy roti, he says, his livelihood. In 1996, Victoria Terminus was renamed Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus after the 17th century Maratha king Shivaji. It's that building that calls up what Bombay is to people. You know, it's the um, it's the iconic individual freestanding structure that people think of as when they think of Bombay. If you see any movies or any any anything that represents Bombay, uh, that is the Vitti Station. Yeah, well, the first thing, if you see a movie and they want to show that you have come down to Bombay, they will show the station. The VT is an extreme condition where you have monumentalism, you have beautiful architecture, you have space and the intensity of life within it. It's one of the few World Heritage Site monuments that are living, unlike the Taj which is not living, but yet has crowds, but it's not living. People just view it with detachment. Here people use it, they stand in line for a ticket and they look up and look at that starry sky that's painted on, on the Gothic arches. For the local population, even before independence, I think it became intrinsically linked to life. It's got many dimensions to it, which I'm sure people related to quite differently.
For 42 years, one man has been getting off at CST and crossing the road to get to his place of work. It is Aram, a restaurant started by his father in 1939. It is boarded a tram and scouted for a place for opening his new restaurant. So he bought very cheap one of the shops, facing his VT. Proximity of the terminus gave us constant flow of local passengers or outstation passengers. And the place being small, it fills up quickly. So it gives us enough. I must give more credit to this establishment because we have taken it for granted. We used to come in a tram, spending only one hour, getting down and coming to this restaurant and saying, our Aram. Where is it? Opposite VT. That is the mention we did. We were related to VT as opposite VT. CST has undergone wear and tear with the passage of time, which has brought up questions about its conservation. A comprehensive, holistic conservation uh, work is still to begin. Seven or eight years ago, they did some sort of a stone cleaning of the facades, but yet the windows were not all restored or the stained glass was not uh, restored. The landscape was left out of the conservation plan. So we've had a whole lot of you know, add-ons and infills into this historic building that have happened as a, ma as, a, as a response to a certain use and not necessarily with this sensitivity that we're looking at a beautiful heritage building. Most of the conservation that has been done so far is in the railway fires. Nobody is aware of what exactly has been done because they just patch up small parts here and there and, and because I see more damage being done even today than conservation. Conservation of this building is a continuous process. Right now, we are uh, actually cleaning the building from outside. Many of the uh, staircases are being put back into use. Then there were some corridors which were closed down and converted into offices. So we are removing that and again making them into corridors. Uh, we have started this museum in 2010. We are planning to uh, convert this museum into a bigger museum. People can have a look at the first railway which ever ran on Asia, in Asia. If you're a lover of train stations, it would certainly be on the top 10 list of one of the great train stations of the world. CST is a place of many firsts. The first diesel engine motor woman in Asia also begins her duty from here. My father was also in railway. I was living at Santa Cruz, a railway colony, which was nearby railway track. So every day I was watching the train and I was thinking that I should become water woman. So many people are travelling in my train. So I feel too much happy. I do prayer that uh, my trains will go safely and uh, uh, trains will go in right time. I used to do prayer, not only for my train, but I do the train, uh, prayer for the full, all the trains which, which runs in the world. Mm.